All right, so here's the finished product coming out of the mold. Uh, mixed these up yesterday, been in the mold for about 24 hours. Just popped them out. They still need to dry. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys through uh, the process that goes into making these papers. All right, so this is real simple. <clears throat> All I'm doing here is I'm cleaning the molds after we pop the papers out of them. This is just dirty old water. I've had sitting here for a month, uh, just getting any of the crap off of here and um, getting all the crap off here. So, and then I'll show you what we do next after I get all these cleaned up. All right, so you can see I got them all cleaned up, just dried them off, uh, set them down. You can see they're pretty clean, not a whole lot in them. I'm just going to take some of this pan spray and just get some cheap stuff from Marks or whatever and just spray the mold down. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I'm not putting a, I'm not putting a ton on it. Just spray it, make sure light the light coating. So we're gonna do that to all the molds. And I'll bring it back once I have this done, which will be about three minutes or so. Alright, so I got them all sprayed down and all I do is take a paper towel and I'll wipe in just smooth out all of the pan spray into the mold. Just flattening everything out, getting it into the, the grooves there and the creases in the mold. Okay, make sure it's nice and smooth. Again, I don't know if this is the right way. This is my way. This is the way I've been doing it. Uh, I've probably made to this point I'm gonna say at least 50 pavers, but again, I'm guessing. I could show you guys, you know, when I'm done. Um, been doing six a night. Seems like all winter. We got a big area we're doing down, down in our backyard. So it's just been an everyday thing. And I just thought I'd make a video for you guys to see how to make them. I know there's other videos out there. Those guys may do it different than I do. This is the way I'm doing it right or wrong so just thought it might help somebody out I'll come back uh, next step okay this is the concrete I'm using and for those six molds it'll take just about the whole 60 pound bag uh, to do all six molds um, so plan accordingly <clears throat> again I don't do a lot of measuring kinda just fly by the seat of my pants I got some water Ooh, almost knocked you over Got some water over here, uh, ready to go. So all I'm doing is I've been tinning them a little bit. Uh, I think you got to put a crap load of this in there to get them to turn brown. I just been putting a little bit in the water. Uh, again, I don't do a lot of measuring. They've been coming out kind of gray. Uh, I think we're going to end up staining them after the fact, so I'm not really worried about it. But this is all I've been doing is just putting a little bit in here. Again, not measuring. Uh, that's There's got to be a, two gallons of water in there. Just a little bit of tint. Uh, I'm going to mix it up. and I've just been mixing the concrete with a drill. Plain old drill and a mixer. You can buy all this stuff at Home Depot uh, if you haven't figured that out already. So, just going to mix this up. Dump some water in here to cut down on the, the, the dust in the air. You can kind of see how much I'm putting in. I'm going to finish off the bag from the last batch. Dump this in, and you're gonna you're gonna mix up about uh, about this whole bucket. You're gonna fill it fill it all up with concrete. So I'll show you how that goes. Uh, when I come back. All right, so here we go mixing some concrete. I mixed that little bit up <clears throat> with the water that I dumped in there out of that old bag. We're just going to open this bag up and start dumping it in. I'm going to mix while I'm dumping it. I just pinch the bag between my legs and as it's dumping in, mix it up. Always, always wear a mask when you're doing this. Don't want to inhale this stuff.
So we're getting to the top here. And again, like I said, not a lot of measuring I do. It's all by feel. You know, get this mixed up. Add a little, probably going to have to add a little more water here. Add a little mixer here to mix up the water. Because that stain in there settles down. I don't know if you can see in there. It's just brown, gooky water. Add a little more in here. Again, a little bit of water goes a long way, especially when you want to get it the right consistency. That's about the consistency I go for. Could be a little bit wetter. I might have to come back here and add a little bit more water once I start laying it into the molds, which we're going to do right now. We're probably going to have to mix some more up. Normally, if you fill it close to the top, you'll fill all six molds. And this is, oh shit, I don't even think it's a five gallon bucket, but you can see a a lot of concrete. It's just a bucket I had laying around. So we're going to take you over to the molds right now. You know, as you guys can probably tell, I didn't put a lot of thought into this video. Uh, my wife went walking, and I decided to grab the camera and come out here and video what I've been doing. So uh, I didn't clean anything up. I didn't stage anything. So what you see is what you get. It garage is a mess, and we're going to dump some concrete in these molds and uh, just kind of show you how I do it. Pretty simple. Concrete's mixed up. Basically, you're dumping it in. I like to leave them a little short to start, you know, so that they're not overflowing with concrete. And you'll get the, you'll kind of get the hang of it as you keep doing it. You know, just a tap on the mold, let it lay down. We'll come back to that one. You can see it, it could use a little more concrete, but let's get some concrete in the other molds. Again, I like to leave them a little short just so you're not fighting the concrete. Mush it into the corners and the vibration of you tapping on it will get the concrete where it needs to be. And again, I'm no concrete expert, but this is what works for me. So there's two, they're not done, but there's concrete in the mold. You can see now the concrete a lot of the moisture is out of the concrete now, so I don't know why it settles to the top. But we'll go over and we'll mix a little bit more water in this concrete, maybe add some more concrete to the mix. You can push the concrete around. Just banging on the mold seems to work. You know, and again, you should have a level surface. This surface is obviously not level, but again, it's been working for me. So I'm gonna go mix up a little, get a little more water in this concrete, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All I did was added a little bit of water. In any concrete, I wanted you guys to see how far that concrete was gonna go. I think I'm gonna end up being short, but um, I'll just mix some more up. Just kind of a general thing, so you guys know how much concrete or if you were paying any attention, how much concrete I used was in this, I think this is a two and a half. 
I don't even know what this bucket is. Now that one I kind of kind of got a little bit. It's right to the rim. It'll end up probably overflowing. This is just a paint stir. You know, again, like I said, we're just winging it. Definitely got to make some more. I got those bags of concrete. I think they're three dollars and forty-six cents a piece. If you buy more than ten or something like that. You can see that one short, so we're going to need to mix up. A little more concrete. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to take you with me. So just, I'll be right back. All right. I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea of what the heck I'm doing here. Probably won't even have to put this in the video, but I'm videoing it anyways. It basically, you're filling molds with concrete. Not too difficult. Ordered these molds online. Took them. Hey, Hell, it took about a month to get them. I think they come from Ukraine or something like that. Uh, they've been they've been pretty good. Uh, I mean, none of them have cracked. None of them, you know, I haven't had any issues with them. Um, once I found out to use the Pam cooking spray or whatever that is, the canola cooking spray, uh, the con you know, fingers pop right out of the mold. No issue. They actually fall right out. So make sure. You got your hand under it. I set them down on a piece of foam with the one edge hanging over so that you can catch the paper as it flies out. Hopefully we're going to have enough here. I don't know if I'm in the way or not. I, one man show. Got no camera crew. Alright, so that one's a little full. We'll take a little bit off of this one. We'll add this one over here. That one needed some anyways. Set them down. Again, I don't make sure that they're topped all the way off. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, other guys that will, that they're flat and, and perfect on this side. Uh, I'm just making pavers, you know. Maybe not the right way, but it's, again, my way. So that's what I do. Concrete's in the, pave, in the molds. And then what I'll do is I'll go, I'll take my circular saw here, skill saw, and I'll just vibrate them, okay? And you'll see the air bubbles start to come out. I wasn't doing this at first, and I was getting a lot of air bubbles, and I was going back and filling them, but um, I'll let, maybe I can get in there tight so you can see. I got them sit, the pavers, uh, the mold sitting on a piece of concrete board I had laying around from some stuff that I was doing. Uh, so they're just sitting on an eighth inch piece of concrete board. You could use anything. Obviously if you're trying to vibrate your concrete floor and the pavers are sitting on your concrete floor, that's not going to work. So uh, maybe put them on something. Again, level would probably be better than the way mine are sitting. Mine are sloping kind of to the front of the garage, but I'm winging it.
So after you vibrate them for a while, and you could probably sit here and vibrate them all night and not get all the air out of them. Um, I go back, I go back over them with a putty knife, and I push the concrete down. But hold on a second, because I gotta go find that putty knife. Found it. So this is all I do. Real simple. Is just go along the paver. Again, I don't know if this is the right way. It seems to get most of the bubbles out. Um, so that there aren't bubbles on the surface of the pavers. I'm just trying to adjust this thing. And I'm just taking it and going, just pushing down lightly on the concrete. You know, you'll see bubbles coming out. Try to push it, you know, just kind of tighten up the concrete and the mold. Hoping to get a nice flat surface on the other side will be the top of the paver. This is the back side. Nobody's ever going to see, except for you, before it's laid down. And I'll do this to all of them. Just kind of working the concrete. I don't know if this has to be done, but this has been working for me. So I'm doing it. So go over all of them, and, uh, and then let them set. And I'll come back later on tonight, maybe a couple hours and do it one more time and there you can, as long as it's not, I've been doing them in the garage with the heater on all winter. They've been fine popping them out in 24 hours. You don't want to put a lot of stress on them, you know, having I mean, taken them into the house after they've cured out in the garage for 24 hours and you know, taking them into the 60 degree you know, house, and letting them sit, and letting them, you know, cure. So, I'm just pushing the concrete down here, as you guys already know. Working it a little, trying to get the air out of it. I'm not sure what you guys can see, so. Kind of pushing it down. <clears throat> and that's it. And then let them set. You could, I wouldn't force them, I wouldn't try to get them out of the mold more than, quicker than 24 hours. I think they'll fall apart. I think the, the face will start pulling off into the paper mold, but this is what they look like. I'm not sure how well you can see this or not. I'll zoom in on that one. You know, it's pretty smooth. There's a couple tiny air bubbles in this one here. I think you might be able to see, you know, right on the edge there. You can go back once these are cured and you can fill those holes. With uh, I've been using this uh, Portland cement to do that, but I haven't had to do a lot lately because they've been coming up. They've been coming up pretty good, you know. This thing was in the mold. I I laid these up yesterday at you know maybe 24 hours ago, you know. So you can see it 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 holds its shape. It's not falling apart. I go back around on these before I take them in the house. And I'll just, I'll just go around and knock this, the crusty stuff off. Stuff that's not going to be paid, part of the paver. Again, let me zoom out. Hope you guys are bearing with me here. Maybe I'm teaching somebody something. Uh, yeah, this stuff here, just, I just take this <coughs> putty knife and knock that crap off all the way around. Just going to fall off in the house anyways. So, and that's it. Let them set. Again, they, I, they're drying pretty gray. Uh, these were some experiments I did over here. You can kind of see they're gray. Um, so, uh, I'll show you the final finished product in the basement. All right, so here's what I got going. I'm in the basement, <clears throat> and the ones that are on the the foam here are ones that have been out of the mold for 
uh, anywhere from 24, uh, yeah, 24 to 72 hours. You can see one of the pavers here <clears throat> uh, had an issue coming out of the mold. Again, this is when I think, <clears throat> this is what happens when I think I'm forcing the issue on time in the mold. Uh, for some reason, my camera doesn't want to zoom in on it right now. Uh, so maybe I'll take the camera to it. Um, you can see that the surface of the paver just kind of broke apart a little bit. Now all the other ones, the other five that came out of the mold at the same time, didn't have the same issue. So uh, I'm not 100% certain why that happened, uh, but it did. I'll fix it with that, that Portland sand or Portland concrete. Yeah, the Portland sand's going to do something. And then, uh, you know, you can see some pavers over here. You can see they're kind of gray. You know, once they dry, and I put that brown stain in there, still seem to come out gray. <clears throat> but I went to Home Depot today and I bought this stain. First time I use this, they'll have to mix it up for you. It's not something that you can just buy in a certain color. You got to pick out the color, they'll mix it for you. And I brushed it onto these three pavers. I'm not sure you can see the difference here, but I think that's what we're going to end up doing is staining all the pavers with that stain and I'll probably wait till I get them all laid and then go back over top of them with the stain versus you know doing them one by one before I lay them in the when I, you know when I lay them so um, that's what we got going on so I uh, hope it helps somebody uh, if not uh, I'd like to say I had fun doing it. at least I mixed up a couple pavers for tonight and We'll probably pop them out of the mold tomorrow, so uh, hopefully talk to you guys soon. Yeah, and if this ever does make it onto YouTube, make sure you guys like it and subscribe, and maybe I'll make more videos. Here's another stack of pavers that I have that are already done. Just keeping them inside. Probably got to start laying them here pretty soon. The weather's getting pretty nice here northeast Ohio, so... Um, you know, hopefully we'll get some pictures for you guys, maybe a little finished patio down, down in our backyard. So uh, talk to you guys soon, later.